The saga over Janik Sinner's failed drugs test has taken another twist. The world anti-doping agency WADA has confirmed it has appealed the decision to allow Janik Sinner to continue playing professional tennis despite failing a drugs test. In a release statement, the authority argued that the initial finding of no fault or negligence on Sinner's part was incorrect. In August, it was announced Sinner had received an anti-doping sanction and been stripped of his prisevmany and ranking points from the Indian Wells Masters in March due to testing positive for closed bowl. However, he avoided a suspension after successfully arguing to the International Tennis Integrity Agency that his physiotherapist Giacomo Naldi had used a spray containing closed bowl to treat himself and then administered massages to Sinner without using gloves, the World Anti-Doping Agency confirms that on Thursday, 26 September. It lodged an appeal to the Court of Arbitration for Sport in the case of Italian tennis player Janik Sinner, they said in a statement released on Saturday, 28th, who was found by an independent tribunal of the International Tennis Integrity Agency to bear no fault or negligence having twice tested positive for Klaus Ball, a prohibited substance, in March 2024 and in a warning that the 23-year-old could now be banned for as long as two years, they added. It is Wadier's view that the finding of no fault or negligence was not correct under the applicable rules. WADA is seeking a period of ineligibility of between one and two years. WADA is not seeking a disqualification of any results, save that which has already been imposed by the tribunal of first instance. As this matter is now pending before CAS, WADA will make no further comment at this time.